this is how he looks super cute hey y'all today's video is sponsored by vivor they were nice enough to send me over their teak shower bench shipping was very fast and assembly was even faster it's like three to four simple steps and i was done assembling this in like less than five minutes not gonna lie the only thing that kind of threw me up was that i put the base on backwards so make sure the little white sticker that you see is face down when screwing in the legs if you've been following me for a while then you already know that i've been searching girl searching for a shower bench for definitely a year now that's how long i've already been here a year and a few months so i'm super excited that i finally have one now um you guys will see in a second that my shower is fairly big or long i should say and just being able to just sit down on a shower chair and be able to like just shave your legs different things like that um i usually take long showers so it definitely comes in handy so i'm super excited to have one this shower bench is 20 inches and it is waterproof of course <laughs> this is a shower bench with a lot of storage and it is non-slip with the foot pads that y'all saw me install and it can also hold up to 400 pounds which i think is really amazing and this shower bench can also be used indoor and outdoor so this is just me showing you guys like if maybe like you have a elder living with you or anything like that or somebody that needs to sit down frequently this is like me sitting right under the shower head i do got two shower heads and then i'll probably keep it in the back for when i do want to shave my legs and things like that i can literally just sit down and shave my legs and basically just <laughs> relax in the shower i feel like this will definitely amplify my shower experience and just take it to the next level so i absolutely love this product it is a very very good quality and they do have a 20 percent off coupon right now on the amazon storefront you will just click that check out all the links and everything will be down in the description box below thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video i absolutely love it hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title is probably something that you guys was not expecting at all thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so not sure quite what i'm going to title this but obviously i know in the thumbnail and the title is going to be something about a dog so here we are i know you guys are probably not going to see this video until maybe a couple weeks after i would already had him i would say um we go meet the breeder at 12 it is currently 10 37 right now in the morning um the breeder actually lives three hours away from me so we're just going to meet them kind of like an hour away from us they said they will meet up to 60 miles away from them for free so that's what we're gonna do um i've been texting this breeder for about three days um it's two different dogs male dogs that he got two dogs left that's male and one dog left that is a female so he's gonna bring both of the males to me because i originally the dog's names is frank and duke is what he is what he named them but i'm gonna name the dog king probably but um frank is the dog that i saved but then i saw duke i like the name duke better so i was just gonna keep the name so then i asked about duke he sent me a video of duke and he seemed kind of like scary he sent the video and says, so here's the video. He's kind of quiet and shy, but very cute, which he is very cute. But I don't want, you know, a scary dog. Y'all know, or y'all know, y'all gonna ask about Oreo, why'd you get ready on that dog? You just gonna get another one. I, I, I can already hear it and see it coming. Watch this video that explains why I rehomed Oreo. Don't really care to get into it and talk about it. Um, and for those of you who made something, and for those of you who may say something crazy, you will be blocked from my channel, <laughs> period. Because I don't got time. Um, and that's not the first time I gave away a dog. Just putting that out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. But, I also asked about potty training and stuff like that. And he said so far he always goes outside for potty. He's been with his litter mate. So, I don't think getting along with other puppies would be hard. But then... Like a day or so later, I was like, hey, sorry to text late. I wanted to ask about Frank, the other male dog in the litter, and see if I can get a video. Um, you know, is he more outgoing? Is he less shy? You know, whatever. Because in the video, I noticed that when the owner reached down to try to, like, touch Duke, he, like, kind of jumped and, like, ran. So, I'm like, I don't want no little scary-ass dog. So, we're going to see. He said he's going to bring both of them so that I can, you know, pick out which one. Hopefully, one of them is, you know good because if not then there is another breeder that i'm looking into but they're like in conway area so they're like 30 minutes away but hope all goes well um so yeah prince is gonna get another brother 
um and this go around i really really wanted to get a puppy like a puppy um one of the main things with oreo was that i got him at already like five months old and the breeder like i if y'all watched that video he didn't even know his name he didn't he didn't know how to go like he didn't know anything so it just made it so much more challenging and all of that or whatever basically if you don't want to go watch the video because i know some of y'all not that oreo just made my mental go definitely down like almost to the point of like depression honestly i guess you can call it depression um i would not want to come home i would cry all the time just a whole bunch of stuff and i mean i know a lot of people like that happens with you know puppies like that like the puppy stage or whatever like the puppy stage isn't easy that's not the thing but he already i had him when he was like um i kept him till he was like one years old and like some months so nothing changed it was just in every aspect he wasn't a bad dog, but in every aspect, it just wasn't, I don't even know, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> it just wasn't good for my mental, so I had to get rid of him. But Prince, I just gave him a bath, um, so he's good. Um, hopefully, you know, we bring home a dog today. Um, but yeah, I don't plan to really post this until I actually have um, King, probably for like a few weeks, honestly. Um, this video is going to be kind of like a 48 hour, 72 hour, you know, days first days with the new puppy um i wish i would have got him sunday but the breeder wanted me today so it's fine but i'm off today which is monday um august 19th i'm off tuesday and wednesday and i did pick up thursday i wish i wouldn't have picked up thursday now but i work thursday friday saturday but my boyfriend he's gonna come and stay here uh, thursday night um to kind of see how he does like without me and stuff and then friday and saturday um friday they'll probably be here by themselves but saturday i haven't like i haven't told anybody to, like i'm getting a dog either <laughs> but saturday my mom is off on all saturday so i may ask her like to come over here and just be with them um because you know he's a puppy so yeah we'll see but i'm excited um my mood i hate when the um weather kind of affects your mood it is kind of gloomy it stormed so bad last night and today is kind of going to be scattered showers so my mood simply because of the weather is kind of down but i am super excited to prince for prince to finally have a friend um this is normally what he does all day long he literally just sits here and looks out the window or i'll like throw his toy down there you know just little stuff like that but i can tell that he definitely um really need somebody else like a dog wise like when i had two dogs and i had oreo it was perfect like they always play all day every day and most of you don't know i got prince me and my best friend got prince and my best friend got his brother that was in his litter his name was simon at the same time and me and my best friend lived together in college so i had prince since college days and prince and simon obviously were brothers but they were like this neck and neck they will run through our townhouse like crazy they Get literally hold on <laughs> to leave out by 10 52 to be there right at 12 they said um but anyways prince and simon they used to get down boy so he always kind of had somebody to play with so when i first got him it was prince and simon and then after that what is he doing he was just standing up on two feet he see somebody <laughs> oh he's still a dog just excited to get him a new best bud and brother to be here um i got my cage back there from my parents house and then i also already got king a new bowl and stuff like that so in the video i said that stuff was for prince like the new bowl and treats and stuff because obviously y'all aren't going to see this until probably weeks later after i've already had him um but yeah my boyfriend should be um here i just let him in the gate so we're gonna go ahead and head that way Lord, I'll see y'all once we had a dog, probably. Hey, y'all. So, I went ahead and went with my first pick, which was Duke. Um, he actually... Hi. He actually was um more... He was moving a lot more than Frank was. Um, the other dog was a little bit lighter than him and a little bit smaller. So, I went ahead and went with Duke. Prince is right here as well. Um, they're sniffing each other and stuff. And Duke was like, you know, moving and all of that. So... I'm gonna go with him because the other dog was not moving much. He's already <laughs> trying to like chew on me and stuff. He's a little busybody. He tricked me because I didn't think he was gonna do too much movement. So um yeah, he's definitely shaking up the guy said from um 
transport um he literally had both of the dogs in like a little bitty kennel and in the back like in the trunk why would you put your dogs back there so yeah i don't like that but they do smell like piss because they was back there pissing probably so i'm gonna go home and we gonna um put him in the bathtub and get him all smelling good with prince bubble bath um duke tail I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep calling him duke um i was gonna say king but if we would have got the dog named frank that he named then i was gonna switch that <laughs> I was gonna switch his name to be King because I'm not calling no dog Frank. So since we went with Duke, I'm just gonna keep calling him Duke. This is how he looks, super cute, really, really tiny. He's gonna get up to about maybe like 15 pounds at most. Um, so yeah, he stinks though. He smells like piss real bad. It stinks so bad in here. So I cannot wait to go get him a bath. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get straight to training. Um, I'm super excited for Prince to have another little brother. Um, I am glad that I did get Duke as, you know, a baby because getting dog, you know, like Oreo, for instance, getting a dog that's already like full grown, if they're not already trained, it's really, really hard. So I love getting puppies and training a puppy. Um, so yeah, he seems to do really well right now with Prince. He, he's like really active. So I got this little um, blanket right here just in case he like pee or something. Oh, he didn't give me the fucking food. Oh, oh my gosh. He literally said that he was going to give me the food that he feeds him. Let me text him. Oh, yeah, he said he was going to give me a bag of food to transition him, but he didn't. Um, so I'm just going to have to pick up some food um, for him on the way to the house. Oh, yeah, he's a busybody. I thought he was super scary. In the video he sent me, he seemed really, like, scary. I'll probably pop the video on the screen. But, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't messing with the um, with the owner. <laughs> I guess he didn't like him. But, like, me, he cool, he chilling, and he moving around a lot. So, yeah, they about to come back with our drinks. And I cannot wait to get to the house because, oh, my gosh, this piss smell. Can't do it. <laughs> All right, so we're home. We've been home for um, about... 30 minutes or so we did stop at wendy's to get some food and i did come home and give duke a bath so he's right here chilling gave him a bath he's so freaking tiny and i got him wrapped up with a blanket because he's cold i am about to pick him up and hold him just until he um dries up a little bit it's 2 22 and then i have prince right here in the room only because they was in the car like sniffing each other and stuff like that but you know prince he's really really excited when he see dogs and duke is still kind of small since he is cold right now um i wait till he get done drying up and then i'm gonna let them you know sniff around and play together and stuff like that uh, i'm gonna bring them in i don't know we'll see my boyfriend's here too he gonna stand till he gotta go to work so actually i may just let prince out right now <clears throat> and then just sit on the couch real quick with duke until he kind of warm up a little bit um and then put him down so i did not know that you know he's still he only like 11 weeks right now i think um he was born june this is documents he was born june 4th 2024 so june july yeah um he jumped up out the bed like prince little bed in here i didn't think he can like jump up out of this and he literally jumped out of it i thought he was too small but right now he's just chilling <laughs> on the floor so I'm about to pick him up and kind of warm him up a little bit. And then I am about to let Prince out. So I'm going to put this camera over here so you guys can see. So we're not against the light. Is that a good way? Yeah. So I'm going to pick him up. Oh, baby boy. So he still had that... Um, hissy smell on him i did give him a bath but he still kind of smells like it a little bit um i'm gonna give him another another bath probably like in another day or two i just wanted to initially get him a bath to go ahead and get the pee off of him so i think i told y'all when i met the guy um all right so prince right there and duke back there but like i was saying um wherever he came from like the people's house that he came from stinks so the guy had duke and his brother frank in the back of a um 
like a little bitty kennel like not even like a cage or anything it was one of those little bitty kennels that i feel like people be putting cats and stuff in and he was like yeah they didn't have a good you know trip or ride here i wonder why because you got both of the dogs in one little bitty kennel getting thrown around i told y'all he had them in the trunk and of course they was like pissing and stuff like that so he was smelling like pee a little bit so i already gave him a bath and stuff like that but i'm probably about to give him another one because he still you know stinks basically and i feel like i'm still smelling it too because i got it on my clothes so i am about to go ahead and shower as well and switch but that's prince right there sniffing them out and duke like i said he's still a little wet so he just drying up right now um in the towel chilling i got my baby prince right here we playing fetch i gave prince a bath this morning as well so he feels good and smells good of course, Prince always smell good, too, unless you just smell like outside. But he definitely smells like whoever house he came from and piss. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wash him up again here soon. Um, he didn't cry, like, the whole ride back. It was like an hour drive. He did really good. Literally slept, chilled in my lap. Um, he's only crying right now a little bit, obviously, because, you know, he's a puppy. And obviously, he don't know where the hell he is. <laughs> so, you know, he like... Baby, what we got going? What's going on? Where am I at? So, yeah. <sighs> but I am glad that, you know, I got a little puppy puppy so I can actually train him and stuff. And I got some packages and stuff like that that I need to open as well. So let me go grab those and see what it is real quick. <sighs> okay, I know what this is. This is some hair. Um, One of my customers ordered it, so I'm going to go ahead and put that as ready for pickup for tomorrow and what is this p p s y this must be some type of collab or something i don't know what the hell this is okay so i think this is actually some jewelry i was kind of scared to open it because why does it look like that <laughs> So I'll come back to y'all when we actually um doing something. Cause right now, I mean, he just chilling, he cooling. <laughs> and not too bad. Uh, too. <laughs> he about to F you up, boy. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, that hurt. It's starting to hurt. Stop. Stop. Calm down. Calm down. Sit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and unbox his little bitty eating bowl. Hopefully he can reach this. Um, so Prince bowl, as you can see, is definitely higher up off the ground and like completely elevated. Whereas Duke's bowl, it basically kind of like falls like it's like at a slope so i feel like he should be able to eat out of this if not i'm just going to take the bowls out and put the bowl on the ground but we went outside i took prince to go potty and i took duke to go potty as well and he actually peed y'all quite a bit i'm so mad that i didn't record it like his first peeing outside i mean i don't know i know that's totally like a dog mom thing but i forgot to record it and right now he's just walking around exploring <laughs> Know if y'all can see them so i'm about to um unbox this and i'm gonna put a little bit of water and stuff in here and then i gotta go we gotta go run and get print some food i'm gonna go ahead and get like a little thing of puppy. i'm gonna go get a little thing of puppy pads um just to have like a pack of 10 or something and then um i think that's all i don't know what brand food that he's eating but he's actually really really liking it so i feed prince fresh pet and i know they got a puppy brand of that so um i don't know we'll see i'm, I'm just gonna go and kind of like just look around in the dog department and see what i can find um but i do need to get this marshall's tag off of this because that's not cute i'm probably gonna have to try to blow dry this to get it off because it's not really coming off right now and then i'm gonna put a little bit of his food in this bowl and then i'm gonna put him in the cage until we get back and then i'm gonna bring him back downstairs this is not your food uh-uh it's not your food 
and then I'm gonna bring them back downstairs um, after we get back. So he did really good though. He peed for a long time out there. I just put a little bit because I don't know how much he been eating. Babe, can you put some water in here? It's Dukes. Alright, let's see if he actually come over here and eat from this. Good job. Come here. Come here. Come here. We in here. Come here, Duke. Come here, Duke. Come here, Duke. Come here. No games, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Stop. P E N. We're gonna get technical. He's not that scary. So update on day one before my camera. Excuse you, Prince. <laughs> before my camera dies. Okay. So it's 10 o'clock now. I just got back inside from walking Prince and Duke. Prince is right here sniffing on something. Y'all can see. And Duke is right here. <laughs> Literally made himself comfortable on this beer. I don't know what it is with this beer, but him and Prince obviously love it. So he's just chilling right there. Um, honestly, so far he's been a good dog. He just, you know, whine and cry because he wants to be held in your arms. 24 7 i just feel like he's spoiled um but other than that i took them both outside he um pottied so he peed and he pooped so i fed him and then i took him out like 30 minutes after i fed him and he didn't do anything so then i took him out maybe about an hour and a half to almost two hours later because he did end up falling asleep and he actually peed and pooped outside so gave him a lot of praise he was really happy jumping up and down stuff like that um, so I guess I'm just going to go to the same little routine that I used to do, um, with Prince with the potty training, um, and that I tried with Oreo and like my other past dogs, um, on my channel, um, you can definitely see my very first dog that I got by myself. He was a little chihuahua. His name was Kobe. Um, that should be on my channel. And then I also had another Havanese named Max. I only had him for about like four weeks though, like a month because I had to get him away. I was in college and I had picked up a summer job and it was just a lot. Um, I felt bad because I wasn't really at home to take care of him in my college apartment. Um, so yeah, I gave him to, um, actually she was a grandmother who had just lost one of her dogs and then her grandson and granddaughter gifted um, my dog to her. So yeah, I've had a lot of dogs before um, just you know sometimes they just don't work out but prince he's he's been working out this far so um hopefully duke i feel like um will work out really really well him and prince kind of been playing he just cried a little bit because like i said he just want to be held and stuff like that but i am glad that i got him at such a young age to really train him so yeah he's just exploring and chilling so i think what i'm gonna do is take him out every like two hours or obviously you know whenever i feed him and whenever he do wake up from a nap i am going to take him out um because usually puppies have to either pee or poop you know after they wake up so yeah that's what i'm gonna do Prince over here chilling babe about to go to work um i was about to try to edit but it's already 10 o'clock and i kind of want to wake up early so by the time he gets to work i kind of want to already be like drifted asleep so i'm gonna put this cage in my room since prince sleeps with me like in his own bed um i'm gonna let i'm gonna try to crate train duke but i'm gonna put him in the cage for um 
tonight. I put him in a cage when we went to Walmart. He cried like a little bit at first and then I checked my ring camera that I got in here and he wasn't crying anymore. When I got back, he literally was laying down chilling in a cage. So um, he should do well. I think he's gonna do well um, tonight. But the key with puppies, and that's why I like getting a dog as a puppy because you train them. Like it's all up to you and it's all up to the owner. So we're gonna be crate training, taking them out every two hours, the potty. And yeah, we're gonna start working on commands. I took him outside. Um, in like an area where I feel like not many dogs go. Um, he has been to the vet and everything like that. I got his records, but you know, still. So I didn't put him on a leash or a harness because I mean, he's this big and he really don't be going nowhere unless he'll like run after me, but that's it. So tomorrow I'm gonna put a harness on him. Prince does have three older harnesses and I'm gonna try one on, a couple of them on to see which one fits Duke. And then I'm just gonna leave it on him like throughout the day so he can kind of just get used to wearing something because I did put a diaper on him um, and he kind of like, you know how dogs is, when you put something on them, they'll kind of like walk funny. So he was like raising up his back leg or back paw. Um, so yeah, we're gonna um, work on a harness tomorrow. And then once he's comfortable with wearing the harness, walking around and stuff like that, then I'm gonna walk him on a leash kind of in the um, living room. And then we'll, you know, go outside and work on that. But yeah, he spotted in the house once he peed when we first got here. Cause I didn't like put him down on the ground when we first got here out the truck. Um, Cause he took a long nap um but yeah so far you know so good to be expected i know we're gonna have accidents inside but he's been making progress with potty and outside as well my camera's about to die and it's 10 4 so i'm about to take my sleeping pill um finish up my wine and get duke and stuff ready for bed and then we'll probably be up at like 6 in the morning because i do want to take him out pretty early and feed him and keep him on the schedule because when i do go to work i'm gonna be getting home at like six seven o'clock in the morning so yeah what's the morning it's the next day it's august tuesday august 20th 7 47 in the morning um got up took both of them out at seven a little bit before seven or like right at seven <laughs> Prince shot a play. <laughs> he's not old enough to really play with him yet. So Prince, he's kind of running from him. It's like he can chase him, but then he'll just run from him. Cause Duke keeps uh crying. But that's Prince like playfulness. So he gets he needs to get a little bit older to be able to really just play with the toys, run back and forth. Um earlier. He was playing with the little um, ball. So Prince wants him to get this toy and play with him. <laughs> That's his play, his play mode right now. So yeah, anyways, um, Duke peed outside. He didn't poop yet because obviously he hasn't ate. So he ate about 6.30, I mean 7.30. So I plan to take him out in about like another 10, 15 minutes so he can uh, potty. Prince want him to play real bad. He needs. He got to get a little older. He got to get a little older. He's not old enough to go fetch. <laughs> Give me that toy. Give me that toy, boy. <laughs> and this little spoiled one here, boy, cannot stay off of you. So I try not to. I give him attention, obviously, but I try not to give him too much because I don't want him to just be attached to me. And then it's like, if I'm not around or like, you know, if he don't see me in sight, he just goes crazy. So I put this puppy gate or the baby gate up right there, if you can see that at the door. So I'm still in sight, but I'm not like technically in the room. Um, I find that helps a lot. So I've been um, doing that literally yesterday and today. And also a new puppy, you don't need to just allow them to have access to like the whole entire house because it's just too much for them as well as, you know, they can just poop and pee anywhere. So I try to keep them wherever I'm like close at in an enclosed area so that he, um, you know, ain't doing too much. Give me two 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 Give me toy. Give me toy. <laughs> and Duke was actually playing with this ball as well. See, he'll like hit it. So I think he's gonna be a dog that like fetch, hopefully. Like he'll push it and then jump back. It's the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> 
So one of the videos I watched, she was like, give a new puppy a ball, a little fluffy toy, and some type of like tug of war type toy. Um, and that's what I did. And so far he's been kind of more playing, more so playing with the ball. And Prince, he don't really play with balls. Like he's not a like fetch type of dog. So I'm hoping Duke does at least get to about like 15 pounds like he's projected to be because I would love to play fetch with a dog. That's why I wanted a little bit bigger dog. So you can see he's taken after, yeah. So he likes the ball a little bit better than um, any other toy that I've given him. So. That's a pro tip. Get three different types of toys and see which one they like better. <laughs> and see, Prince, he wants to play with them so bad, but you know, Duke is still such a baby. <laughs> but it also takes Prince a little bit of time to like warm up to a dog. Like when I got Oreo for like the first two days, he was kind of scared of him. And I think it was because Oreo was a little bit bigger than Prince too. Um, and then after like a few days, I guess he's like, dang, like, I guess this nigga gonna be living with us. Like, <laughs> he just here. So he started to really kind of engage with him, play with him a little bit more. So as you can see, he's trying to do the same with Duke. But, you know, Duke's still tiny and still learning. So he's just gonna take a little bit of adjusting. But that's why I'm like, I can't wait till, I keep saying it about a month in because Duke will be a little bit bigger, a little bit more playful. Hopefully fully potty, potty trained by next month. So yeah. But see him just sitting here, he cool, not whining. Watch when I go out, because I need to go turn my bacon. And then he gonna start whining and stuff. So I'm trying to break him out of that, obviously, because you know I do go to, he did really good last night. Like he was in the cage, he didn't poop or pee in the cage. And I put him in the cage at like 11 o'clock and then we got up at six. So I think that's, that's really good for him. But I mean, he's obviously 11 weeks, you know, he not just eight weeks old or younger than that. So yeah, I think we're making a little bit of progress. Not too bad, baby. My baby boy. So I need to go turn my bacon and I'ma just see, let y'all see what he doing, what they do. <laughs> I'll be right back, folks. bacon and hopefully you guys can see what i was talking about how you know he'll get to whining and stuff but usually he'll stop but like literally <laughs> no i mean i'm right here you can't get him you can't get in my skin <laughs> oh i can't wait to start playing hey he's still a baby i know you wanted to play with your toy hey y'all update I'm trying to vlog a little bit every day i think i'm gonna do like a week in my life with like a new puppy or at least try to um it's 5 51 tuesday august 20th the same day and i swear he just started crying um we just got back from inside going potty prince obviously used the bathroom and then duke did the same um i think i want to try fresh patch again hear me out i had it with prince and oreo it didn't work out prince kept like he dug in it a little bit but he would try to i don't know i, I don't know i know one of them would dig in it and the other one would try to eat it so i can't remember which did which but it obviously did not work out um but i think since duke is still so tiny and obviously as a puppy he's two months and 16 days old um and he's been doing really well with potty and like i don't want to you know psych myself out but he's only had one accident in the house and i got him yesterday um at noon and he's had one accident obviously i'm expecting him to have you know more accidents but potty training this far has been going really really well um and i do feel like it's because obviously i got him at such a young age it's just better for potty training so i did download this app um obviously this video isn't sponsored or anything because this whole thing is just spur of the moment so it's called dog log it looks like that with two little paws on it white paws and I downloaded another one, but they wanted a $3.99 subscription every month. And I'm like, girl, all I'm trying to do is log when my dog pee and poop and when I take him outside and when he eat. Like, it ain't that deep. 
so dog log um a lot of people like if you got multiple people in your household you can like join a pack down there if it loads yeah you can join a pack and then form one so obviously i formed one i formed it for duke click on it and all of his info is right here so <clears throat> i just started using it today um at 7 a.m he ate 8 36 he peed 10 08 he pooped and he peed and then he came back in for water well he drank water at 11 25 he peed again outside at 11 30 he slept at 12 25 for a little while he drank water and ate at 1 50 and then he pooped at 5 18 and peed at 5 18 so this is just recent and then he just ate at 5 25 um so i think i take him out i'm probably gonna do about every two to three hours because like if i do like 30 to 45 minutes he don't really do anything the most he'll do is maybe pee but um he's stop you little menace <laughs> trying to eat my cord um but yeah i like this little app um it shows you how many times he went for a walk how many times he pooped peed and ate for the day and then you can um use this with multiple people in your household so you know y'all can kind of all be on the same page and then i just Hey y'all, it's been an eventful day today. <laughs> it is a Wednesday, August 21st, 541 in the evening right now. Um, haven't vlogged all day. I woke up and I had a doctor's appointment that lasted about an hour to about an hour and a half. Um, I've been using the little app as well. I took him outside, but he didn't do anything. So like I said, after he eat, it takes him at least like for sure an hour to two hours to actually poop. So he didn't poop or pee, um, surprisingly. So I'm just going to do that as a walk. And we probably walked at like 530. All right. So he peed three times today and he pooped three times today if you guys care i'm using the app that i told you about yesterday he ate all of his food and then there's still a little bit of food in his cage i've been trying to implement feeding him in the cage to get him a little bit more acquainted and comfortable with that um last night like the first night he was here he slept in the cage perfectly fine did not cry or anything get out uh duke get out his bowl that's not yours duke it's not your bowl um so yeah the first night perfect didn't didn't hear a peep out of him second night which was last night so tuesday night he definitely um he probably cried about three times last night but it wasn't anything long like it was like a little mm, mm, and he did that about three times and i'm just like you know quiet quiet um but yeah he does sleep in the cage at night and i keep the cage in my room so he's not in here sleeping um but yeah, that's pretty much it. I did go to Home Goods today and I went to the pet store, Pet Smart. Um, love Pet Smart, especially because I got um like reward points and stuff from there as well. So I want to go ahead and do a little haul of what I got from Home Goods first because it is a little bit shorter. <laughs> Sprinkling blue cleaner right now. So I got this cute little um brand wild one dog collar. It's easy to clean, dirt and odor resistant, waterproof, great fit for most um dogs so it's a great fit for a cocker spaniel pugs boston terriers and similar size breeds um since he is going to get to about 15 pounds i kind of wanted to get a um collar that he uh duke that's not yours i kind of wanted to get a collar that he could grow into so this is the brand it was 4.99 compared to eight dollars i thought it was cute um, I feel like it may, it's say easy to clean, but I feel like this may get dirty quick simply because it is kind of light. Um, but it got a little hook right here to where I can put his tag, his name tag and stuff at. Other thing that I picked up at Home Goods is this pet hair remover. It's literally just a lint roller, like a really, really big lint roller. And I always hear um, Chelsea Janae rave about these. She used them for her couch, just anything. So I was looking for a big lint roller and my lint rollers don't really work too well. So I like to use this. I'm gonna use this actually for like my couch and stuff. It's so you can use it for pet beds, rugs, carpets, curtains, all kind of stuff, girl. Y'all know, both my dogs hyperallergenic, they don't shit. So I'm just gonna use this on like my couches, like my actual furniture because these work really, really well from what I can see and it's really long. So I feel like it'll be able to take up a lot of um dust and everything. Next thing I got was these 399 Eco Paw Gentle Pet Wipes uh, made from 
made of bamboo no dyes no parabens it's cucumber and mint smelling um it actually smells quite good when i first looked at it i'm like cucumber and mint mm -mm. but it kind of got that like refreshing um smell so i decided to go ahead and pick these up i am running low on their wipes or prince wipes now their wipes um i like to use these to sometimes get the gunk out of their eyes uh, or prince eyes I like to use it to wipe their paws when they come in, especially with Duke being so young. You know, he got his shots from the breeder and stuff, but obviously just to try to keep them as clean as possible, you know, in case, um, stop licking that nasty. <laughs> in case he, you know, lick his paws and stuff like that, he's not really licking what he was walking on outside. And if you see the camera moving, that's Duke, the bad ass. So yeah, got 120 count of those. And the last thing that I got from Home Goods was for me, obviously. Mama need the goods too. So I love this brand from Home Goods. And this is in the scent Storm. Go to your local Home Goods. Smell some of these candles in this brand. Um, sensational. Abs uh, Duke, that's not yours. Absolutely love it. It was $7.99. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this one in here. And I'm going to start burning this one in here because it smells amazing right now getting into what i got at pet smart i'm gonna go ahead and show this right here comment down below if you fed your um dogs royal canin before um they're high as hell just wanted to mention that um it's the same price on amazon it's the same price at the pet store this is the same price everywhere 23 dollars <laughs> for this little bitty ass bag so since he's a puppy he's not really eating too much right now so um, his regular food right now is about the same size as this, so that's good. I mixed in a little bit of this today so we can go ahead and start transitioning him because he still got some food left, but like I said, he eat about two to three times a day, uh, three to four times a day. So, yeah, definitely want to get him transitioned on this. And also, I go to PetSmart, so they also have a Banfield Hospital in there, um, which I already knew to answer this question, but I just want to hear what she said anyway because they tell me every time. Um, they recommend, I think it's Purina or Purina um, Balance Pro or Pro Balance, something like that. Um, and then she said Royal Canin, and then she said another brand. But she was talking really, really low like this, so I really can't understand what she was saying. So I'm like, okay, I heard the first one, then I heard I heard Royal Canin. And yeah, we just wanted, I just decided to go ahead and get this one, especially because it's for poodles, and he is a full breed um miniature poodle so i decided to go ahead and get this one i was gonna y'all know prince he don't eat kibble anymore he eats fresh pets so just sir that's not a toy duke 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 stop i just got a package from amazon and he's literally pulling a freaking little package everywhere um, so yeah, got him some dog food, high as hell. My total at PetSmart was $70. All right, the next few goodies that I got for actually both of them. Um, these Vet IQ Veterinarian Recommended Calming Treats. It comes in a pack of 60. It says it helps to maintain normal stress, excuse me, promote relaxation, support balanced behavior. So I did use these before. I initially got these whenever I had got Oreo like sometime no, I got Oreo two years ago at this point. I think I got him in 2022. I don't know. Whenever I had got him about two years ago now at this point, um, I had bought these initially for him because obviously Oreo was mixed with Toy Poodle and Havanese. I think more so the Toy Poodle is what really had him up acting crazy because Duke acts crazy as well. Um, and just really, really hyper and really, really, really extremely clingy. And I always have to be everywhere I'm at at my ankles. So I originally got these because when I would put him in the cage, you know, he would whine, da da da, whole bunch of stuff and just would not relax and calm down. So I initially got these to try on him. I used to get him like two. Didn't do anything, I don't feel like. So I recently have some left over. Um, I had like five or six left over and they don't expire until November. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try it. I tried it yesterday on him and we was just in the house and I feel like it did kind of work. And then today I gave him a half of one since he's still a baby because it says five to 15 pounds, one chew every other day. So I decided to just go ahead and get him a half. And I sat in here for about 10, 15 minutes and then he like went to sleep. He did cry when I put him in the cage, but I was still in here, like in the room. So it took him about, honestly, like probably like 15 minutes to just relax. And then he did end up falling asleep. 
and i got up tried to sneak out of course he woke up but he maybe did one little mm, like whimper cry and i got my key stanley cup bag all of that purse and literally left and then i do got a camera in here so i turned on the camera and i made I was checking it periodically since I was um, at Home Goods and at the pet store, and I probably heard him whine maybe once, but other than that, nothing. And I'll pop in a video of how he was this morning at like 8 o'clock, but I think that also was because I had took him out and like fed him and stuff like that, and I feel like he was like really still hyper because obviously he was locked up all night, so you know, he needed to burn some of that energy, but anyways i think these are really working for him so i decided to go ahead and pick some up so if you want to try these for your dog go ahead they're only like 11 or 12 dollars i feel like it's a definitely bang for your buck um especially because some of the other ones are like 24 34 dollars i'm like i'm not paying all of that especially if it doesn't work so something like this i definitely recommend this brand um like i said i feel like it's been working for dude the last three things that i got it was they had a buy two get one free i didn't realize i should have got the bigger size i didn't realize this was only five dollars so i thought this was 8.99 and i was getting it for free but i got the obviously the cheapest one for free so this was $5.99 Kong Puppy. I decided to get this for Duke. So when I leave, I'm going to give him, since I can only give him those um, calming treats, it says one every other day. Granted, I do only feed him half. So that's why I'm like, I kind of, I don't know, I got to figure out. Stop biting on this bear. Put um, some filling up in here and hopefully when i leave this will keep him distracted while i'm gone also bought the filling i decided to get pepperoni flavor this time and prince. then couldn't leave my baby prince out either i decided to get this little bitty kong liquor like licking mat um you can stick it to like any surface so i decided to get him this one because i can just like stick this on something to have him occupied as well um as well as um I've tried this with Prince before and he didn't really too much care for it. And I feel like it does get really messy. So since Prince is able to, you know, not be locked up and live out <laughs> freely to do whatever he wants, I feel like this would be a little bit better for him. I can just stick it on something and then this will just keep him occupied. And right now he's actually biting on this dental stick, which is kind of a shocker. That's actually Prince dental stick. But Prince, like I said, he don't really do too much um with the dental sticks unless if i break it up i guess prince thinks it's a bone or unless he's really really hungry so all he do is walk around and hide that everywhere so duke is actually you know biting on it so i guess i could have put one of those in his cage as well to kind of keep him occupied but i think this will really really do well the last thing that i got from pet smart is actually a um dog tag so i got one that said duke how cute is that? I like the text. I think that's definitely different because Prince Tag, I remember giving him the bubble letters and I'm like, I don't want them to have the exact same font. So I did two different fonts. And on the back of Prince, it says, please call my mom at my number. And then it said, give me back home. <laughs> and then on Duke, since he a little menace, baby, I said, hey, call mom. And then I put my number on there. So I'm going to go ahead and set up his new collar and stuff like that. Um, if his new collar is still a little bit too big for him right now, I'm probably just going to, I was going to switch him, like use this for Prince and then just give this one to Duke for right now. Um, because this one does have a bell on there and I really 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 need to know where this little boy at and this one is really easy to just take on and off because when I do put him in the cage I forgot to mention that I don't keep a leash on puppies um I did that with Prince whenever I put him in the cage I would take that leash off you see a dog outside because you know puppies they don't really they're just really fragile <laughs> and if he get his collar or whatever stuck you know, I don't want it to choke them. Even though this color is, oh, I should have went to the cat section, duh, when I was in the pet store. Theirs are cheaper as well. So this is actually a cat um, leash because they got a little bell on there. And it is really easy to just break it apart. So I feel like if he did end up getting stuck, like if I did forget about it or something, it'll easily be a quick release. But yeah, I may go ahead and keep this one on him and then just give Prince this one probably since he's, you know, grown. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, 9 in the morning. Um, I didn't get up and take them out until about 
a 30 ish and he did really well didn't poop or pee in the cage he's right now trying to attack me with his bad little butt um him and prince have been running around going crazy playing with each other fighting each other as you can see he's having a ball prince up here tired i even ran through my apartment literally like five times back and forth running with them playing trying to wear him out so yeah He's still up here playing, really happy. Today is day, well, I got on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day three. He's actually playing with Prince a lot more. Of course, obviously, at first, he wasn't really running after Prince, but now he's running after him. Stop! That's not a... So, I'm cooking breakfast. Um, they both already ate. Um, Duke completed his whole meal. Um, Prince still got a little bit left, so after I eat my breakfast and things like that, I got a few invoices to send off to some companies so they can pay me. Um... It's 9.59, so it's about to be 10 o'clock. I'll probably go back outside. Like like I said, it takes Duke like at least hour and 30 minutes to two hours to really just go poop. Um, but he didn't poop this morning. He only peed. So it may come a little bit faster. So, I um, mean, yeah, I do go back to work today. So my boyfriend is going to stay the night here and see how he does. So then they're only going to be here alone on Friday and Saturday, unless if I ask my mom to, like, come or something. But through the night, obviously, I work at night. He's been doing really well, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, I'm probably just going to have to, like, trick him. So I'm going to give him those treats tomorrow before I go to work because, obviously, no one's going to be here. And then I'm going to give him those treats well, not the treat, but the calming little, um, I'm going to give him the little calming vitamin thingy. Um, well, not vitamin, but the little calming treat. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then I'm probably going to stay in the bedroom for about like 20 minutes so he can just chill out. Um, I don't know because, I don't know because we go to sleep in my bedroom right now. So it's like he don't ever, you know, he'll never bark or anything t through the night. So tomorrow i don't know i'll probably give him that calming treat like 30 minutes before i leave and then i'm also going to put that kong in there okay so i was just bragging on him he just had an accident he pooped in the house a little bit but i caught him just in time so i like i should have known too it's because i was talking about but as soon as i turned the camera off turn around he was like sniffing a lot you know when a dog gets to sniffing in circles and stuff that means he needs to go to the bathroom so I guess since he didn't poop already initially when I took him out, it went through him a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, if he already poop and pee for the initial like walking, like when we first wake up, then after he eat, he won't have to do it again until at least an hour, 30 to two hours. Um, but yeah, I called him in time. He started sniffing. He kind of bent down to do his business. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and it did scare him. So one little turd came out and then he stopped. So then I literally ran downstairs like this in my house shoes and everything. So I need to clean my house shoes. But ran outside, took him outside to go potty, and he let out like three more little poop turds. <laughs> but yeah, so it was good to, you know, catch him in the act. I prayed some and stuff. Okay, so I wanted to end the vlog just showing you guys a little bit of the moments that I've been capture capturing over the past basically month. Um, him and Prince are playing so well together. They are going crazy. Um, as you can see, I was walking him down the stairs. I didn't realize that he was actually able to like walk up and down the stairs. Well, he was able to walk up the stairs first before walking down. Um, you'll see that in a later video, but both of them together has been really good. Um, I did start taking him outside without a leash on simply because he was so tiny. And as you can see, he's like trying to jump up there to get Prince water. They literally run back and forth all day. Me and Bay <laughs> play with them all the time. Um, it's just been really, really exciting to have somebody here for Prince to play with. Um, the only thing about Duke right now is obviously he's a poodle, miniature poodle. Um, he is very clingy. Y'all know that I showed y'all that. Um, other than that, everything's been going kind of fine. Um, he just cries a lot <laughs> if no one's in sight or if Prince isn't in sight. And then right here on the far right, I did buy this little playpen thing from Amazon, but I ended up returning it because you can see it did have a lot more space in the cage and I put this little pad and stuff in there. Um, that's him walking upstairs. But ultimately, I feel like that's training him to pee like in the house because he would um pee like in that playpen and poop in the playpen and then when i would transition him back to the actual cage he would sometimes pee in there and like once in a while poop in there so i just went ahead and returned that back to amazon because we're not doing that um but yeah so far so good he's um uh, i mean it's good <laughs> so don't forget to like this video comment subscribe i'll see y'all in my next one bye